Welcome back to The Late Show. Ladies and gentlemen, my guests tonight are everyone's favorite greedy, needy, backstabbing, morally bankrupt, but ridiculously rich characters on TV. Please welcome from the beloved Emmy Award winning series Succession, Brian Cox, Kieran Culkin, Jay Smith Cameron, Sarah Snoop, Matthew McFadden, Nicholas Braun, and Alan Ruck. There you go. Please, right here, sir. Thank you very much. What's your name? Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you. I think nice you can tell that I'm a huge fan, or else you wouldn't be here. <laughs> we are missing one Roy. Uh, that's Jeremy Strong, who plays Kendall. He that's couldn't right. be here tonight, but he did send in a video uh, to express how sad he is he couldn't attend. <laughs> thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. The feeling is mutual. Very good. Now, uh, there are shows that match a moment in the world, and I think this is one of them. And I'm not exactly sure what the moment is, but it doesn't seem like a great moment. <laughs> <laughs> that there's, there's sort of a schadenfreude to see all these rich people going through all this emotional turmoil and all this weakness and, and uh, insecurity. But there's also this sort of pornographic quality of wanting to see their lives. It's like schaden porn is what I think of it. <laughs> and I was wondering... Um, who among all these terrible people, <laughs> all these characters, not the people, it's characters. They're not terrible at all. Who you <laughs> might think might be the, the worst of all of them. Let's, let's start with you, Sarah. Who do you think the worst character is? He's looking at me right now. I can't <laughs> say it. <laughs> Can you say dad when... Really? Papa. You think I Logan would, is the worst I character? so. Or, uh, yeah... Well, wait a second. <laughs> Brian, what do, you, do you think Logan is the worst character? Of what do you think? No, of course he's not the worst guy. He's very misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. He loves his children. Does he? He does love his children. I wow. Was, I was told that very early on. I was told that by the... Because I asked the question, <laughs> does he love his children? And Jesse Armstrong, our creator and showrunner, said, yes, he loves his children. But they're just all pains in the ass. <laughs> But one of the great things is, is uh, we love watching all of you insult each other. There's some truly, absolutely hair-raising, skin-peeling things that get said to each other, uh, you say to each other on the show, and we, we have a little clip here of some, some of the best. You lump of turducken. Are your nips hard? They must be because you are so out in the cold. Oh, here he is, Mr. Potato Head. My plastic adversary. This is why you don't hatch a plan with Connor the first pancake. Buckle up. I look at your face and, no offense, but I see dead babies. He said that to be nice. What I think he meant to say was that he wished that mom gave birth to a can opener because at least then it would be useful. You <laughs> off. If you can't do it, <laughs> off. I, I know from talking to actors over the years that people, fans on the street, want them to yell things yeah. at the fans. Yeah that the characters yell on the show all the time. Karen, what do people ask you to yell? I had a moment uh, a few months ago. I was walking down the street with my very pregnant wife and toddler, and there was this really nice old lady, probably like mid, late 70s, and she just went, oh my God, Succession, I love you on that show. And I went, F you. <laughs> <laughs> and she went, that's amazing, F you. Have a great day. <laughs> 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 that's a nice perk. Yeah, that's a nice perk. Um, uh, I'm curious, uh, Nick, what does it feel like to be called <laughs> um, He calls me in the morning and starts the day with that. <laughs> do, you actually, do you you run through the scripts when you first get them and say, what do I get to call people today? What are the things I get to scream at someone else? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, Karen just comes up with terrible things anyway. Which anyway, is like, yeah. I, I just wait for what Karen's gonna say with no filter. He's well. an artesian well. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Who? Well, I like to then say, like, oh, it's uh, the writers tell me to call you that. Yeah. <laughs> 
He's he's also who's wears the most in real life? Is it, it him? Uh, yeah, I, I've already on your show. I think I've said yeah. a few times already. Yeah. Is that another one? What? What? <laughs> do, you, do you get bleeped on your? Not one the broadcast. When, oh. when this goes out over the air, none of them will be here. I promise you that. So nothing well, I say. That's going to be a very, very short quick interview. Show, yeah. right? <laughs> We'll go long. Now, Brian, I understand that you've got a problem with Americans and their ability to swear. Yes, yes. Americans, uh, can I say this? You'll cut this, won't you? Yeah. Yes, we will. Because I'm going to say something really naughty. I hope so. Uh, it's going to be very naughty. Americans can't say the word <laughs> I'm American. I just said it. Uh... <laughs> I can say it. Australia they would rather <laughs> their mothers than say <laughs> we, um, we have to take a quick break. <laughs> and when we come back, we'll talk about your everyone's favorite succession couple. Stick around.